So we've been making the work in Phoenix's gorgeous, uh, clean, warm, beautiful, light, um, non-dark arch, and we will be transferring the work from here to the actual um, site-specific place tomorrow. The starting point for making this work, which has turned into a two-hour loop of material, which will be performed over up to five hours at any one time with no break, um, was partly a brief given to me by the Quay brothers um, about Orpheus and Eurydice and the act of looking back. Uh, and the other starting point was a show that I made in 2005 called Broken Chords, um, from which I have borrowed some images and uh, 140 chapel chairs. We've made the work so that if you pass by and just catch a pictorial glimpse of it, that's fine. If you choose to stay for half an hour, an hour, two hours, five hours, that's also fine. I doubt everyone will want to do that, but I would, obviously. Um, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. But um, basically it can work as a snapshot picture or it can work as a durational installation. And we're hoping, as you pointed out when we were making it, that someone might walk past and see one image and come back half an hour later and the image will completely have been different, but the kind of feeling is still the same. And it, the sort of feeling is that these guys are trapped in this arch and that they're not going anywhere and it's a kind of ritualistic um, playing out of certain um, ideas and forms and shapes and pictures that keeps transforming and that's what's been interesting about making the work actually that it's, it's visual art as much as choreography Well I think for me the first point of working with Charlotte was sort of getting inside her technique and how she actually works understanding the way she moves with the body, using the floor, sort of letting go of the body, normal way of moving, instead of going to move like a dancer, that you're going to move as a normal person. So all these things that we've trained for, we've had to let go of them. Yeah, we all, we all make the material. We start usually with just improvising and, uh, and going through a concept or a guideline given by her during the warm-up. And then from that we elaborated it into material that we could repeat, that we would be able to remember. So I'd say the big majority of the material is, was done by us and this duet, group material and solos as well within the whole piece. And the experience of it being a durational work that we will have to perform for five hours, for example. Um, is, I think we all kind of jumped on board on it, with it, really, because it's, it'll be a challenge. It'll be difficult. We might be with a cold at the end of the weekend. We don't know. But it's uh, actually very, very exciting. It's very, very interesting. We've never done it before. Halfway through the process, Charlotte showed us a couple of Quay animations and things and films. and Institute and was yeah. the main one that I showed. And I think we found that we'd already started going down a similar kind of things, there were certain gestures that the actors were doing that we'd already picked up on and then to make that association later as well I think was quite, it was quite nice because we know we are on the right path with what we're doing and we hope it's... And the general look, the yeah. look as image, the aesthetic that the brothers have in their work I think is quite similar to what we have. I think the main similarity we have is to their work is in all of their films you know to sit whatever's in the film is very much in that world and that's what we've created without really seeing their work too much before we we created that and then when we saw their videos we noticed that we have created something very similar to the 